What's up team? Today we're gonna be doing a trifecta experiment. And we're here back in the Nick Peter lab, the OG lab. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be making three different slimes. We're gonna be using uh, the regular borax mixture. This is like the OG slime, the regular slime. We're gonna be making clear slime with this glue. And then we're also gonna be making fluffy slime with all these ingredients. They're all different. Uh, but they kind of all use the same ingredients and we're gonna be talking about that in this video But we're not just gonna be making slime. I mean there's a million videos like that, bro What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making these slimes to see how they hold up against liquid nitrogen <laughs> So uh, Grant Thompson actually did a video kind of sort of like this he did it with green slime, but um, with these different slimes, um, it's going to be really interesting since they're all different ingredients. But <laughs> just take my word for it, we're going to have to actually do it. So, let's get to test it. Alright, so here's what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to make the OG, the regular slime. Just the straight up slime, slime. It's a super easy formula. It's one part water, one part glue, add a little borax water, and just mix it up and that's it. And we're gonna choose which food coloring color we would like today, kids. We always use green. We always use green. I'm gonna do things a little different today. I'm gonna go with blue. Now one part water. Have our water over here. Wow, that's like some trippy art right there. Now, I'm gonna teach you guys a little lesson about borax because on the internet, there's all this thing about borax and like borax is like gonna murder you and it's gonna find you in the night and it's gonna be like, gotcha. So borax uh, is actually a naturally occurring product. They just dig it right up out of the ground. They dig it out of this place called Boron, California. It's called sodium tetraborate. That's like the actual name, sodium tetraborate. Uh, it has a pH of like nine, nine and a half, which is really basic. And that's why it could potentially, if it sat on your skin too long, it could be a mild irritant. You don't want to eat the stuff, but you wouldn't want to eat laundry detergent either. You probably won't even want to eat this Barbersol. Don't get this in your eyes. Don't like rub your face in it or anything like that, but it's not as like insanely like crazy toxic as like what everybody thinks it is. So, um, let's do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix that together right in there, stir that up. Mmm, borax water, don't drink. Not good. And I slowly add this to the mix. Now pretty much like instantaneously like when you add it, it like it congeals. Alright, there we go. There's some nice gooey slime for you. All right, so for the clear slime, we're basically gonna be doing the exact same thing, but we're gonna be using clear glue. That's actually it. That's, there's no trick to this or anything. It's just, we're just using clear, clear glue. And I'm actually not going to add a color because I just think it's so cool that it's clear like that. I don't really want to add a color at all. So I'm not going to. Uh, whoa, whoa. That's awesome. Look at that. So different. It's like chunkier. Structurally, it just if it, it oper it just it's just different. Like it, it's it, you know, it's just totally different. It actually feels a little more rigid. It's pretty cool stuff though. All right, so there we go. That's how you make some clear slime. Now, moving on to fluffy slime. All right, this recipe is fluffy slime with no borax. So what it requires is a tablespoon of dees. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this jar over here. And then it says, just enough eye contact solution to cover it. So that's 
whatever. Next, use a separate bowl and add half a cup of glue. Oh, we're just gonna double this because we're gonna do a full cup of glue. And a half a cup of shaving cream. Whoa. Whoa, that was crazy how that came out of there. I don't use this stuff. Whoa. Whoa. All right, so let's go ahead and add this slowly, as they say. Oh yeah, it's getting nice and fluffy, look at that. This is gonna be so interesting in the liquid nitrogen, it, cause it feels like, like bubble, like, so weird. It's so different than the other ones, the fluffy one is. This has gotta be my favorite one. <laughs> the fluffy one's my favorite, faux chef. All right, well, there we go. Those right there are three different uh, slimes. So what I'm gonna do is actually put these down, pour some liquid nitrogen for us, right there. And then, uh, gonna get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little piece of this out. Maybe like yay size. All right, there we go. That's a pretty good, pretty good size piece. Just gonna drop her on in there. All right, adios for science. Whoa, whoa, look at it already. That is super weird looking. All right, so that is one deep frozen, deep fried in liquid nitrogen. Totally hard. That's what it was over there. That's what it is now. Let's go ahead and give it a whack you know, for science. And three, two, one, science. Wow, okay. It's kind of like Dippin' Dots a little bit. Like it sticks to you, but I mean, it is rock solid. Rock solid. Alrighty, that was very interesting. Very cool. We got a couple more experience experiments with this guy. Gonna go ahead and bring in this guy. This is our clear slime. Alright, in you go. Wow. We went from clear. We went from that to that. Super deep frozen. Let's go ahead and give it a um, science science hammer. And three, two, one. Science. Pretty much the exact same thing happened that I uh, that we did before. But that's because they were almost identical with the ingredients. I really wanted to see what shaving cream would do in liquid nitrogen. Just just out of curiosity. Whoa! Super weird. It's shrinking. Whoa, super crumbly. I can't even pick it up. It just crumbles. Look at that. Alright, gotta rip a piece of this off. Whoa. Red foam. Foamy slime. Foamy slime. Goodbye. Oh, it's floating. None of the other ones floated. That is so weird. None of the other ones floated. This one's floating. Let me see if I can just rip this apart. Whoa, whoa. You guys hear that? It's crackling. None of the other ones crackled like that either. Oh, weird. So weird. Oh my gosh, so strange. The only the outside. The inside didn't do anything. You know what that means. Back in the deep fryer. Oh, you can't really push it back together though. Okay. In she goes. Alright. Just take a look at that. Whoa. Holding liquid nitrogen. No, the other ones did that. Wow, look how cool this looks. It's like I just remove like a witch's heart. Your heart is as cold as ice. Ah! 
All right, smash it. On three, two, one, which is hard. Oh. This one was actually like even more, it was like even easier to break apart. I'm assuming because it's the foam, and if you look inside there, you know, with the, uh, the actual shaving cream, there's so much more space in this. There's so much more air in here. And so, of course, it's not gonna hold together as well. It's like literally less holding it together. So unlike the other ones, um, which were like so cold, I couldn't really touch them. There was so much water in them. This one's like, it's cold to the touch, but it's not so cold that I can't hold it. And so, I could actually probably bring this thing back to life just by like kind of holding it in my hands. There we have it. Fluffy slime, totally intact. So I guess freezing it really didn't do much structural damage at all. It just unfroze and it's right back to normal. Sweet. All right, let's look at our other guys. This is our original clear slime coming back to life. It's operating just like it was before. It's a little bit colder. This one was always kind of a little bit stubborn. Didn't really stretch like the other ones. And then here's our other slime, which feels just like it did before. So this thing went down to negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit and is now back to normal. Feels exactly the same. All right, so what we learned? Okay, we learned across all those different slimes, the regular slime had a lot of water in it, so when we deep froze it, it shattered like ice. Same thing for the clear slime. It actually, it felt a little bit differently, but when we put in the liquid nitrogen, pretty much the same thing happened. Now the fluffy slime, totally different. First of all, the fluffy slime was the only slime to float on top of the liquid nitrogen. And then once we broke it open when it was totally frozen, we saw inside there were so many different little air bubbles. So which makes me think that the shaving cream, once it's all mixed up in there, totally makes the, the slime different, right? It operates differently because it's got all this air inside of it. Which then when we smashed it, it actually also broke apart differently. It broke apart in these big different chunks because there wasn't much water holding it all together. So, fluffy slime, Conclusion, operates totally differently than all the other slimes when you deep freeze it with liquid nitrogen. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you love science, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys really soon.